G'day, it's Aaron here from Mayfair Plumbing. Today we're just filming a short little video on how to select the right tap washer for your application and just show you a few of the different tap washers that we use on a daily basis uh, to help our clients out. So starting off, you'll see we've got this white uh, plastic tap washer with a white plastic or rubber seal. This one, along with the one next to it, which is also a white plastic washer uh, with the blue rubber plastic seal, those two are your very basic entry level tap washers. And they're not gonna give you much longevity and particular if the seat or the face that they're sitting on in the wall is got a little bit of roughness on it, uh, these two washers are gonna score or mark pretty quickly and then you'll be replacing them maybe every week or every couple of weeks. The ideal situation with any tap washer replacement is that if the seat that they sit against inside the wall called the breaching piece, if that's rough, you wanna try and reseat that first with a reseating tool. Some options moving forward, if you just can't get the seat smooth enough, is then this washer here. It's a plastic washer again, but it has a softer raised rubber seat so it takes up some of the imperfections in the breacher but once again you know where you gain a win in one direction is a slight loss in the other in that any roughness will eventually cause this seat uh, you know to mark and start dripping again in a really really bad situation where you just can't get the seat uh, back to a nice smooth surface and it's probably looking like you're gonna have to replace the breaching piece at some stage. We use these. So this is a copper housing, but it's got a large dome on it. So we call these dome washers. And well, as you can see, the dome takes up a heap of imperfection in that breaching piece. So usually when a customer's breaching piece is 10, 12, 15 years old, it'll need replacing. And that's quite an involved job. But to buy them a little bit of time, we might put these dome washers in. Another application these have been known to be used for is with people with maybe arthritis. They use these washers. They have a soft seat and they don't need to be tightened off a lot to stop the water but once again any imperfections in that breacher will chew this rubber away very quickly and if the tap is then squeezed off very tight these washers can get stuck in the breacher and are very hard to get out another uh, washer that we don't use a lot that is on the market is a hydro seal tap washer and you'll see it's got a little spring in there so these are designed to sort of stop a water hammer and they take up the vibration through that spring as the tap washer is released off the seat when you're turning your tap on but with these hydro seal washers either the anti-hammer one or just the normal one which we use a lot of you need a really, really perfect seat. So that housing has to be machined and get all the swarf out the pipe. And then these washers, which are brass body, are perfect because there's not much room to squeeze them tight shut. So therefore over tightening and wearing down of uh, the rubber seals, as we've mentioned in the other a variety is not going to happen because you've got this o-ring seal so providing you can get a really nice smooth breaching piece face 
then these are the way to go. But like with most things, you know, you might pay whatever, 10, 20 cents for something like this. Whereas these, you know, these are gonna be maybe three, four, five dollars each. But if you can get that perfect seat, then this is the direction you wanna go. These are the hydro seal tap washers. And then they will also last a lot longer. And probably another option if you're still looking for something where you're not getting the perfect seat, but you want a washer that's a little bit better quality, then you're gonna go with one like this. As you can see, it's got the copper uh, body, so it's gonna be a bit sturdier and have a bit more life in it. But once again, we've still got this rubber or plastic uh, face, which is doing the sealing off inside the wall. So if we're not getting the perfect seat, then you know you probably wanna be looking at these first four that I've mentioned. If you're looking at a seat which is just really far gone and you're looking for a short-term solution, then the dome wash is where you wanna go. Also, as I mentioned, if you're looking for an easy to turn off solution, someone with arthritis, elderly or children, then the dome wash is not a bad option either. But you wanna be careful of over tightening and also lifespan will be shorter lived. But you know, there's a positive and there's a negative. And then last of all, if you can get the ideal situation then your hydro seal tap wash is where you wanna be at. You got the strong brass body and minimal room here to, you know, deteriorate the seal, providing it's sealing off on a quality seal. So if you're in doubt, we always recommend using a licensed plumber because over reseating or grinding of the breacher can cause other problems where you chew out the back of the breacher house and then you won't get any washer to seal and you'll need a licensed plumber to probably cut open the wall and replace that breaching piece. Most of the time, uh, one of these washers will help you out and as I already said, you start from your cheap, you know, a few cents, ranging up, you know, a few dollars for the hydro seals and the anti-hammer washers and away you go. So if you need any more hints and tips, feel free to call us 0429 361 819 and ask for Aaron from Mayfair Plumbing. Have a great day.